Hi, I am Tina Monk. I am the author of the Soap Making Handbook Volume 1 and the creator of the eCourse Masterclass Advanced Soap Formulations. And I also have a large Facebook group called Soap Making and Business Coaching. We would love to have you if you have not joined. We currently have over 22,000 members and we have lots of information in the files for beginners as well as um, several business workbooks that I've written uh, for people that are in that direction. So um, we have beginner recipes and everything in the files there too. So please check out the files if you haven't. Now I am doing a beginner soap making series just for the basics. I'm going to cover several different top topics in short videos. Um, this one we are specifically going to go over what is soap and how it works. So um, you can take notes if you'd like. Okay, so one of the biggest things you need to know about soap is that it is not regulated by the FDA. Okay, not regulated if it meets the standards that FDA has set forth for true soap. Okay, I'm going to read those over. And this um, also is in my book, okay, which is available at lulu.com forward slash spotlight forward slash Tina Monk. The black and white copy is available for cheaper, and you also can get the color copy if you wish. Okay. All right, so in order for soap to be defined as true soap, it needs to meet three conditions. One, the product must be composed mainly of the alkali salts of fatty acids, which is the material you get when you combine oils and lye. Those alkali salts of fatty acids must be the only material that result in the product's cleaning action. If the product contains mostly synthetic detergents, it's a cosmetic and subject to the cosmetic labeling laws, but can still be labeled as soap. To be regulated as soap, it must be labeled and marketed only for use as soap. If its intended purpose is to moisturize the skin, make the user smell nice, or deodorize the user's body, then it is a cosmetic and subject to the cosmetic labeling laws. If the product is intended to treat or prevent any disease, such as killing germs, treating skin conditions like acne or eczema, it is a drug and subject to those laws, although it can still be labeled as soap, okay? So if your product meets the regu regulatory definition of soap, it's regulated by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. And I asked them specifically if they had any requirements um, for labeling or anything like that, and they said no. But, however, we do have to abide by the labeling laws that are set forth in the Fair Packaging and Labeling Act. And I highly recommend that you get Marie Gale's book on labeling, okay? Hugely important to know all this information. And Marie Gale also has a blog um, full of information on labeling as well. It's hugely important for you to have that information, okay? Okay, so let's go over what um, soap actually is and how it works and all of that, okay? Soaps are water-soluble sodium or potassium salts of fatty acids. And we know that soap is made from combining fatty acids with an alkali and water. These fats and oils contain distinctive mixtures of several different triglycerides. A triglyceride molecule is made up of three fatty acid molecules attached to a single glycerin molecule. There are several types of triglycerides. Fatty acids in the oils are weak acids composed of two parts. A. Carboxylic acid consisting of one hydrogen atom and two oxygen atoms and one carbon atom and a hydrocarbon chain attached to the carboxylic acid group. Carboxylic end of the soap molecule is the hydrophilic water-loving end. The hydrocarbon chain loves oil and grease and is the hydrophobic or the water-hating end. So these two ends act together to pick up dirt and wash it away. Water has surface tension and the water molecules are attracted to each other. And you can understand the surface tension if you place a drop of water on the counter and it keeps its shape. 
and does not spread. Therefore, to clean effectively, we need to reduce the surface tension of the water by combining it with the soap, okay? So I hoped, I hope that explains that a little bit better for you. Um, if you have questions about anything, please let me know. The takeaway from this video is to know um, exactly what soap is. It's the alkali salt of the fatty acids and how it's um, not regulated by the FDA if it is true soap and you only say that it cleans. That's what I recommend is that you only say your soap cleans. Don't make any claims with your soaps. If you make claims, then it becomes um, under the FDA regulations of drugs or cosmetics, okay? So we just, um, in the soaping community, we just need to be really careful of that and that um, I always say soap only cleans. So if you have any questions at all, um, I hope that little molecule that I drew helped you out too. So thank you so much for watching.